Hey y'all, welcome back into another video. And Planet Zoo just kind of sneakily dropped us the Taken screenshot. And yes, they are ca calling it by the generic species name of just Taken. The other one, the other, there are four uh, subspecies that uh, are that encompass the Taken species, which are Golden, Bhutan, Mishmi, and Sichuan. And model wise here, they went with the Sichuan. This is very, very reminiscent of the Sichuan Taken, and I am I'm pretty happy that they actually went and modeled it after the Sichuan, even though they're just calling it Taken, because here in the AZA, uh, here in America, in North America, the Taken, the Sichuan Taken is actually the most common out of the Taken subspecies. The Golden would be the second most common, even though there aren't many Golden, and there are even fewer Mishmi Taken here. So yeah, that is super exciting to see. And for those who don't know, Taken are a part of the Caprine subfamily, and I actually have a little thing here from San Diego to just kind of talk about the Taken a little bit for those who don't know, because it is kind of a weird animal that you don't see all too often. They're not the most common animals. They're not the most well-known animals. So let's just kind of take a look to see what the heck is a Taken, you know? Uh, Taken about Takens with horns like a wildebeest, a nose like a moose, a tail like a bear, and a body like a bison. The Taken rhymes with rockin'. Looks like a character from Dr. Seuss. Yeah, it, no, it actually looks like a character from a uh, from Avatar The Last Airbender. You know how they have all those animal hybrids, which is really, really cool. It's kind of like um, a golden appa, right? Just let it fly around, you know? Um, <laughs> the, this large muscular hoofed mammal is sometimes referred to as a goat antelope because it has things in common with both goats and antelope. But the Taken is most closely related to sheep and to the goat like Owdad or Barbary sheep of North Africa. And I'd also like to point out, even though they're not a the they're not a part of the same um what you might call it. Uh hold on. Taken good old Wikipedia, even though they're not a part of the same tribe, thank you, they're not a part of the same tribe as Muskox, they actually do, at least to me, they bear quite a striking resemblance to Muskox, even though the they are very much quite golden. I believe San Diego still does have golden talking, or at least the last time I went, I'm, I'm pretty sure they had golden talking. So, uh, but yeah, Planet Zoo is adding in the Sichuan talking. You can see the difference here. There's a little bit more brown. We can actually look up a picture real quick. Sichuan talking. Not Szechuan sauce. It's not the Szechuan sauce talking. Sorry to get your hopes up, uh, McDonald's Mackers fans out here. Uh, but uh, the Szechuan talking here, let's get a, get a better image, has a, the more gold in front and the, the brown in the back, which is clearly what Frontier modeled theirs after. So I couldn't be more excited. The talking, like, can we just sit here and appreciate this image for a second? Let's just a moment of silence for how gorgeous this image is. This may be the best looking animal of the pack so far. Just a moment of silence. All right, we had our moment. I'm still freaking out. This animal looks awesome. I can't wait to see it. I mean, the babies. Look at the babies here. Look at the mom interacting with the baby. The babies are absolutely adorable. Here's a nice baby right here. And they are brown in coloration. They will turn more golden, but keep the brown on the backside. So yeah, let me know. What do y'all think about the Taken? Are you excited with the Taken? Do you hope or wish they would change the name to Sichuan Taken to represent the subspecies? Or are you happy that they're calling it by just the normal species name, the Taken, which is what San Diego refers to theirs as uh, right here with this Latin name, Budacores Taxicolor. Um, yeah, even though they have, you know, the golden Taken. So, you know, this is the thing that zoos do sometimes, right? The zoos will have a subspecies, but they'll just actually call it a generic, even though they have a subspecies, which is kind of a pet peeve of mine sometimes but sometimes not uh because you know with animals that are like this unique and this different it's probably to, better to introduce people to the generic and then sl like kind of slowly introduce them to the subspecies of the the greater species of talking so yeah let me know what y'all think do you love the talking 
uh it was really cool that planet zoo just dropped this on us so yeah um it's been old country and i'll see y'all later bye